Fred again. One of the most popular electronic acts of this moment is a London based artist and producer who has been gaining attention for his innovative approach to music production and live performances. What sets Fred apart is his unique way of sampling. He often incorporates everyday sounds and voices into his tracks, turning real life moments into captivating musical elements. I'm Yannick from the Produce School and I've been a big fan of Fred's music since his first releases. <laughs> And in this video, we're going to take a closer look into the music production process and sample and create a track in a style similar to Fred again. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And with that being said, let's get straight into this. If you want to check out the sounds that I used in this video, then make sure to check out our pack Omnia, which is the ultimate modern dance music sample pack, including samples, presets, vocals, project files and much more on our website theproduceschool.com. When Fred produces music, he likes to sample videos from all over the internet and because I wanted to take the same approach, I found this video. Oh, you've been which is from a super talented artist from the UK called Tamzine. This video from her immediately sparked some inspiration for me. Please go check her out, she makes amazing music and I'll leave a link to her music in the description. I sampled the audio from the Instagram video. Oh, you've been I only wanted to use the vocals from the audio, so I put the audio into an AI vocal extractor. Then I increase the tempo of the vocals to 130 BPM, which is a little bit faster than the original vocal. And I also made sure that the timing uh, was a little bit more correct. Some small changes over here, small cuts here, which is just making sure that the vocals are a little bit more on a beat so they are easy to work with in the full track. Without any effects, the vocal sounds like this. Oh, you've been talking. And I really get that Fred again vibe already from it. Then I added some effects like EQ to remove some harsh frequencies. It can be pretty hard to work with vocals like these because it was sampled from the internet and it was probably recorded on a phone. So the quality is not the best. That's something that makes Fred music like really special by using everyday sounds, voice memos, voice recordings and use that and turn it into a track. Then there's some compression going on with a Fab Filter Pro C. Oh, An Echo Boy for some delay. Oh, and I... Another delay which I will use later for some automation purposes and a reverb to give oh, some room. Another thing you can hear in a lot of Fred Again tracks are ambient soundscapes or drones and we're gonna create our own for this video. To do this you can pick any sound or synthesizer like this simple plug. Let's put this into a mixer channel right here. And I'm going to add a plugin called Valhalla Supermassive which is a free reverb and delay plugin from Valhalla. And let's select this preset in the SFX folder called Barnard 33, which sounds like this with the mix all the way up, like so. Just play two notes and you already get this really ambient uh, drone sound. So what you're essentially doing is playing a few notes or a chord and then putting a lot of reverb on it, which creates this huge ambient soundscape. Um, I'm picking three notes in the scale of this vocal. Um, and then let's record it into an Edison over here. Let's hit record and then just play these notes. So you can hear what it sounds like. Like that. And now let's go into Edison and select a small part of this uh, recording like this. 
Let's cut it and delete the rest. Then paste it a few times behind each other like so with Control V. And then Edison has this really cool blur function which you can use to like blur the sample. Just put a mix up all the way and hit accept. And now it's a smooth ambient soundscape. Let's put it in there and underneath the vocal. Like this. And let's repeat it every four bars. I'm going to add another atmosphere sound underneath this, which is from our Omnia sample pack. You can find it in the link in the description. And it's the same kind of drone sounds made using exactly the same technique that I just showed you. A little more like deeper. And let's repeat it like this. Turn this down. Now let's put some chords underneath this and I'm going to use a synth sound called Heavenly which is in our Omnia sample pack. It sounds like this. I found these chords that work well with the vocal. And together with the vocal it sounds like this. Fred also likes to use pianos in his tracks and because of that I'm also going to add a piano to this track. Um, I'm using this plugin from Arturia called Piano V3 and I'm using this upright preset. Pretty sharp. I came up with this progression which is following the same um, chord progression as the path that I just showed you. But I also added some extra notes on top to add this kind of counter melody. I'm adding this EQ to remove some low frequencies and boosting the high frequencies. Then an ODT for some multiband compression, which is just at like 10% wet level. Then the vintage chorus plugin from FL Studio, which is adding this chorus effect, which makes it sound more like an older piano and also more like the sound uh, that Fred uses in his tracks. And then a vintage verb for some reverb. Moving on to the drums, they look and sound like this. The kick is a very deep kick with some nice punch and a kind of stomp effect to it. Then a rim shot at every second and fourth beat. A short and snappy open hi-hat. Then at every offbeat, so the same as um, the open hi-hat, there's a right. Which adds some more energy uh, to the drums. Then a top loop from our Omnia pack. But I drag down the volume a little bit. An acoustic head loop. Like that, but also the volume is like really low. And then at the second part of the drop, I'm adding this percussion loop, which is basically a shaker. Also for some like more energy. Now let's move on to the bass line for the drop of the track. 
I'm going to be using this sound. It's a preset from our pack Omnia, which is a recreation of the bass that Fred used in his track Smile On My Face. Um, it's a rolling bass, uh, which is made with the LFO triggering the filter cutoff. But as you can see right here, the second and the fourth like shape are a little bit off the grid. And this creates this swing effect. I just used the bass notes from the chords that I created. And to make this a little bit more interesting, I'm going to add some octave jumps on this bass line, which will sound like this. And maybe at the end go even higher. Let's put the bass line on top of the drums, like so. And now let's add some effects, uh, like some multiband compression with OTT. Maybe a chorus to make the bass a little bit wider. Just lower down the wet level. Something like that. And let's also add some side chaining with Kickstart 2. Just really simple. And let's put the bass one octave down because it's a little bit too high and we need more like a bass sound. That's way better. Now I'm going to add another layer to the bass, which is a Reese bass, which sounds like this. Let's remove the octave jumps. And for this bass, I'm going to cut out a lot of the low frequencies because the other bass is the main bass, which is already covering that. So let's select a low cut and just remove a bunch. So it's more like a drony um, bass sound to support the other bass. Let's also add some side chaining to this. Something like that. I added some vocal chops made out of the original vocal from Tamzine that I used in this video, which sounds something like this. So if I just extend this chop, you can hear that it's from the original vocal. So this part, which is really easy to chop. And then I use this one for um, the next chop, which is this one. And then the third chop is this probably. Here. And then it goes back to the second uh, chop. To make that sound a little bit better, I added a bunch of effects like EQ, um, which is the same as the original vocal. Then a decapitator, which has some distortion. Let me just add it one by one. Then another EQ, which boosts a lot of the high frequencies, um, which looks a little weird. And it ducks in some of the low mids because I thought they were a bit um, too harsh. Then an OTT for some multiband compression. Which really does a lot. 
Een Echo Boy voor delay. En de Vilhella Vintage Verb, which is the same as the original vocal. And finally, a kickstart, which is used to add some sidechaining to the lead or vocal lead. Together with the bass, it then sounds like this. And this really gives me that Fred again vibe that I wanted to go for. Now let me show you the final arrangement and effects that I added. Um, I added this ambient sound. Which is basically some noise. But it gives a more like a warm atmosphere. And the second one. Is recording of outside. Which is also something Fred likes to use in his tracks like those actual recordings that he did with his phone of the surroundings um, where he was at the time making the track and together with the other ambient sounds drones it sounds like this so that's how the track um, starts out and they are basically playing throughout the whole track over here um, then in the build up there is an uplifter which is some basic white noise Got some downlifters for the drop and some impacts. Just some basic effects to give some more energy basically. And help with the transitions. The breakdown starts with the vocal and the pad sound. And then for the build up, um, the bass is added and the kick as well, which creates a more drive so people know that there's something coming. I added another delay on top of this vocal which is being automated somewhere in the automations um, right right here which makes the vocal go on a little bit longer and then on top of that i also automated a little alter boy with the formant going down which creates this effect For the rest there are some low pass filters on elements like the kick, ambient sounds and stuff like that. Um, some automations for the sidechain which are basically used in the drop. A low cut automation and that's basically it for the automations part. Just before the drop hits there's also this sound. Which is basically like a foley sound of a lighter or a match or something like that. I thought it sounded cool and it fitted the track well i think and finally i added a sample that fred uses in a lot of his tracks um which sounds like this you probably recognize it we gonna make it through you know who it is when i come through i want you to see me fred i'm here and i put it just before the drop because i thought it added some nice um touch like the real fret again touch we gonna make it and also in the transition part over here so that's everything for this track now let me show you the final result we gonna make it through you know who it is when i come through i want you to see me fred i'm here Thank you.
And that's how you create music in the style of Fred again. If you have any questions about this video and things I did, then please let me know in the comments and I will try to get back to you on there. Also let me know what your favorite Fred again track is in the comments. And for now I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,